Minute to Win It. Wednesday's workout, that's what it's called, a minute to win it. This is a tough one, guys. We always save Wednesdays for a nice, grueling workout. Uh, we've got five rounds. Each round consists of four one-minute stations. Okay, so we're looking at 20 minutes in total, really 19, because the last minute is a minute of rest, as you can see there. First minute is, it says one minute of max burns. Yes, max thinking about the entirety of the workout, not go all out until you're dead, okay? We want to move it probably 80, maybe 85% of your maximum capacity for that entire minute. Um, you might even finish maybe a couple seconds early. You're really working on 50, maybe even 55 seconds before transitioning to the next station. So when three, two, one, go hits, you're gonna be doing burpees. So we're gonna go chest and thighs to the ground. As you come up, warm on up, jump and clap overhead. This is conditioning, so don't be doing your burpees with a perfect push-up, making this a gymnastic strength movement as well. Worm on down, worm on up, get up, get down, jump and clap overhead. Move consistently for 45 to 55 seconds. That's what your aim is on the burpees every single time you get there. Not to go balls to the wall and die 20, 30 seconds in. Nice and consistent pace all the way through. If you do, let's say 10 burpees in that first minute, when the next minute begins, you're gonna be doing kettlebell swings. We're doing American kettlebell swings, meaning we're going overhead. That first rep will be rep 11. So this is how you keep track of your reps. So I just finished my burpees. Now I'm doing my American kettlebell swings. I did 10 burpees. Here we go. 11, 12, 13, so on and so forth. We're using those hips. To drive that kind of overhead, make sure you don't squat, you don't do this guy, where you bring it down and you do this big squat where the kettlebell doesn't really make any contact, or at least your inside wrist doesn't make any contact with your thighs. We want this to be a posterior chain, meaning glutes, lower back, hamstrings are doing the power here to drive that kettlebell up into that position. Okay, so keep that running tally of reps as you crank down, crank through your kettlebell swings. We want this kettlebell to be a little bit heavier. If, you have access, if you're in the gym, obviously, we'll make sure we give you something a little bit heavier, something a little bit more challenging. If you're at home, um, you probably don't have too much choice, that's okay. But you probably don't even have a kettlebell. So what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be doing dumbbell swings. Hold onto the handles, swing between your legs, and up overhead. Same idea, if you feel more comfortable holding onto the head of the dumbbell, that's fine too, just gets a little wonky when you go overhead with a dumbbell swing with your hands on the heads of the dumbbell. Figure out what works best for you before we start. That goes in through second minute, right? We're going burpees first minute, second minute is kettlebell swings. Third minute's on the rower for you guys at home. Okay, so you've accumulated a bunch of burpees, a bunch of kettlebell swings. Let's say you've wrapped yourself up to 30 reps. Probably gonna want to write that down as you strap in, boom, and you're gonna start pulling. We're doing a calorie row. Now I can't stress this enough. As you drive, big strong drive. As soon as you hit your chest, relax your arms. Straighten them right away. If you have them bent here, you are engaging your bicep and your forearms here. You're using energy. You're straining your muscles. Relax your arms right away. Leaning forward. Slowly come back to the monitor for another big drive. All right, we're gonna go for a minute on this row. You wanna be on this row when that minute starts. Okay, so finish your kettlebell swings at about the 50 second mark. Write down that number of reps you did. Strap in, beep, beep, the beat's gonna go off. And you're gonna start cranking through those, uh, those calories. You'll add the two numbers up at the end of this minute, in your minute of rest, and you'll write that down. That'll be your score. I want you to try and get the same number of reps every single round if you possibly can. We're gonna do total reps throughout the entirety. You guys at home, instead of the row, we're gonna be doing jumping lunges as your third movement. Every time you switch legs in that mid-air position, it's a rep. If you can't do the jumping lunges, we'll just do reverse lunges. Every time you stand up to full extension, the rep counts. All right, a minute of each one. See if you can finish strong instead of petering out and dying towards the end. Minutes to win it. Good luck, guys. Happy Wednesday.